What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Hank Strange and uh, this is kind of like a bittersweet video here. Um, this might be the last time you see my Challenger Scat Pack Edition on my channel. It may be, may be leaving us sadly and I really really enjoy this Challenger. I have driven from the East Coast to the West Coast with this bad boy. Drove from Florida to Vegas and back went all up and down the uh, eastern seaboard. I've really enjoyed this uh, Scat Pack Edition. Check it out. 6.4 liter V8 Hemi Challenger in gunmetal gray. This is pretty much how it came from the dealership. All The only thing I did was tint the windows. That's really it. I just tinted the windows um, you know, that got me in some trouble, obviously, but this is how, this is how she came, and I call her Sasha Gray, and, um, she's a 2015 amazing car to me, you know, there's some things of it, of it, of course, I don't think everything is perfect, you know, if you're gonna make, like, a weird, a turn, um, onto a road that has an angle, <laughs> You can't really see through these pillars here, so you gotta kinda like crank your neck out. And there's a few other things, but this has really been a fun, awesome vehicle. Um, and there's a possibility I might be having to say goodbye to Sasha Gray. Of course, that means a new vehicle's coming in, but that doesn't make me any less sad about that. So, I'm gonna let you guys come along on a little journey with me as I say goodbye to my baby, Sasha Gray, 2015 Challenger Scatback Edition. There she goes, Mohawk Challenger. Check this out. All right, so while we're driving up to the dealership, I'm not gonna tell you guys what dealership yet. I want you, I'll let you enjoy the discovery of what dealership I'm going up to where I'm possibly thinking about trading this and all that. Um, I guess I can do like an exit interview kind of thing with this. I really enjoy this car, you know. As I said, there's a few things that I think, you know, weren't so great. But for the most part, this car has uh, served me well. The biggest things I can think about that I complain about is that A pillar over there. I, there's really, I can't have, I don't have any way of seeing what's coming if I'm making a turn at an angle. You know, some of those, some roads you come to are on an angle, so that's a little tough. And there's a few other little things, but I really, really, really enjoy this car, and um, it's probably been the best car that I've owned so far in my life. You know, I just have this thing where I'm trying, I want like all the cars I could possibly get my hands on and live with and drive before I kick the bucket, whatever that is. So that's the reason why I'm interested in other cars. And also, this would be awesome if it was all-wheel drive. I think that Dodge makes an all-wheel drive version of the Challenger, but it's only V6. And why have a muscle car if it's like V6? You know what I'm saying? I'm not against having any other car that's V6, but why a muscle car? If I'm gonna own a muscle car, I want it to be a, you know, a V8. Have some real power inside of it. And okay, so when it's a muscle car, it looks all badass. It would be, it would be very, very close to perfect if it was all-wheel drive. I don't know if and when they'll ever do that. So if that ever happens in the future, let's say I wind up getting rid of this, which is not guaranteed. And if I don't get into a different car, I'm not gonna be sad or anything like that because I really enjoy this car. But if I do get if I do um, get into a different car, I think that in the future, if Dodge ever made these kinds of cars all-wheel drive, I'd be interested. And to be honest with you, if anyone else, if let's say Ford decides to make a Mustang that's all-wheel drive, that'll be interesting. Or Chevy makes a Camaro that's all-wheel drive, that'll be interesting. Am I supposed to say Camaro or is it Camaro? If they make a Camaro that's all-wheel drive, I don't know. I say Camaro. I don't know what you guys say. Whatevs. So I really do enjoy this car. It's really nice, comfortable. It's got like heated and cool seats, navigation, all that kind of good stuff that I like. Um, there's enough room in here for me. Probably if you were really, really tall, it wouldn't be. But in here, there's enough for me. Uh oh. Uh oh. Laser. That's a check out the uh, 
the, the, that's the first time I've actually seen this new um, Escort do that, the laser alert. So there's seriously a laser up here that we are coming up to. So we better make sure we are obeying the speed limit right now on the seriousness. <laughs> yeah, I recommend that everyone out there, no matter what car you drive, you get a radar laser detector, my friend. I seriously, I love it. This one's kind of expensive. Um, I forgot what model this is. You guys probably recognize it better than me, but right now I can't think. It's probably written on there. I think this is the, the 360, whatever, whatever it is, is the 360 Lola. I think it's written on the side there, but it's expensive. It's like a $600 radar detector. But it's awesome. I can't make it out. And one of the things that I like is that if you get one of the... Because I know you can get radar detectors built into your car. But with this, what you can do, you know, if you if you upgrade your car, you trade your car, get a different car. You just unplug it and put it in a new car. You know? So, that's always good. That's always a good thing. Okay, I'm not gonna stay on right now because otherwise this would be a really, really long video. When we get where we're getting in like, we'll be there in an edit. And then you guys will see. You get where you're going? Yeah, when I get where I'm going. Is that cooler? Yeah, when I, I get where I'm going, yo. No, we'll be, de no, we'll be there, no, we'll be there when we, we'll be there when we get there. When we, what did I say? When we get where we're getting? Yeah. Uh -oh. <laughs> Okay. I guess that also applies. We yeah. get what we get. You're rubbing off on me. You're degrading my brain, wow, woman. Don't, yeah, don't blame. That's all your fault. On me I blame dyslexia. I blame it on you. What did you say that? What did you say to me the other day? What? Don't put don't put your illness on me, Ricky Bobby. <laughs> I said, don't you put that on me? Don't you put that on me, don't Ricky you Bobby? Put that on me, Ricky Bobby. So let's see. Should I give you a clue as to? what car I'm thinking about getting. Does that right there give you any ideas? Should give you a little bit of a clue, a little bit of a clue. And uh, an even better clue, it's right behind me in the window here. Let's take a look. So here we go. Oh yeah. Take a look at that. You think they'll let us get a test drive of that? It's the Audi TT RS, just in case you're curious. So, let's see if I can get a test drive. Meanwhile, I'll give you guys a little spin around the vehicle so you can take a look at it. White. What color is it? Glacier. Glacier white. TT RS. Very nice. Sexy color. Let's see if it's open. All right, let me get in here. Uh, looks good. Check out the uh, rear view camera, still on. Yep. And it just stays on until you hit seven miles an hour. Oh, so you and can then, see what's behind you. Yep. And then where all the sensors are on the gray, on mm -hmm. the car on the left, that shows you where all, it'll warn you if you're getting close to anything and it starts lighting up and beeping. Cool, gives you a little zone. All right, so here, do you mind? Uh, hold it's it. running, yeah, just hold it. Here, the seatbelt on. I like the controls. The red stitching on the seat. Here. Carbon fiber and the cross stitching. So this is all actual carbon fiber, right? Yep. Yeah. Okay. So now, is there a handbrake? No. So there's an electronic parking brake. This is it. So mm -hmm. you, you pull it to put it on. And then, and then it's puts red. on the brake. 
right. and then you push it to take it off. Take it and off. Okay, yeah, and I can off. feel it, yeah. yeah. Awesome. Okay, so where are we driving? We're going to take a left out of here, go all the way down to almost 53rd, and make a U-turn and come back. Oh. There we go. And you can just park it right back in front of the door yeah. where the other car was before. That was very cool, man. Got to be careful how close you go yeah. to that thing. And that's kind of what they turn that you can hit this at any time, and mm -hmm. this camera will come oh. on with the sensors as well. Boom, check that out. That's we'll us. Daytime running lights. Yeah. Those lights look good. It's a very sexy ride. Yeah. And so to stop, do I just hit this? Just hit that button. Okay, there we go. Boom. And then all the power goes off when you open your door. Oh, okay. Goes out. There you go. And Audi. <coughs> <laughs> that was a nice little ride, man. So Look what? How big the exhaust tip is. So on this, there's um, what was it? I think the black package. That's the, the black optics. So that's black your, optics. All the black in the grill and the black back here. And then okay. The, the trim. So if you guys wheels. notice that the trim on the wheels, and the the, uh, the rear view mirrors, the grill up front here, and in the back, which. Looks really good with uh, with this glacier white. Makes that look really sexy. Look at the window. Yeah, that's the only thing it needs. That's all I can think about that it needs, man. Some nice tinted windows. Yeah. So now all I have to do is see if between Tom. And Lola over there. See Tom? See Lola further in the background? <laughs> she's hiding. Yeah, she's hiding. She wants to buy a car. <laughs> she wants a Q5. Yeah, she's <laughs> thinking about getting a Q5. I don't know about that. We gotta take care of this one first, see if this can happen. <laughs> so check that out. When you open the door, it's projecting on the ground to everyone that you're rocking at Audi's <laughs> Yeah. So in case you don't know, looks like I have now picked up this Audi TTRS, the Glacier White one. I'm gonna give you some details in a second, but it's, it has gone down. All right, Thomas, Thomas made it happen. Let, yeah, let's let Thomas over the details. Yeah. So if you wanna know what I think so far about Audi of Gainesville, very nice guys, they've been really, really nice to us. Of course, I'm buying a very expensive car, but they were nice to me before I decided to buy the car. But guys, this is the final hurrah for Sasha Gray. Yeah, she's out of here. And uh, honestly, I'm kind of sad about that, you know? I mean, I really enjoyed this car, man. I really had fun with this car. And now the Sasha Grayness will be no more. Someone else is gonna get to drive Sasha Gray as I slowly, dramatically walk away from Sasha Gray. And I am, I am honestly kind of sad about that, you know, because it's been such a fun car. And now I get to have like a whole new experience, you know, not my first European car, but definitely my first, boom, Audi, there you go. That's it right there. These guys are in here, they're figuring out all the electronics. They're getting it all set up. I'm gonna have to get used to uh, my gas tank being on the opposite side right now. So there's no gas cap in these anymore, that's interesting. There's no gas cap, I just, I guess you just push the button, put it in, no need for a gas cap. Yeah, that's still very sexy. You guys getting this figured out? Yeah. I'm gonna get a run through here, but I know I know you guys have to get it all. Have to get it all sorted. We're gonna do that. I'll share some of that with you guys. I'm gonna get the iPad and then we'll sit down okay. in the car and go over all the Okay, cool. You gotta plus out too, guys. See these mugs? Lola and I getting mugs because apparently it's Oktoberfest. <laughs> so I came in at the right time to get some big bear mugs. For Oktoberfest. More shirts. Just that. Check that out. And shirts. 
these guys are giving me like lots of uh, lots of gifts over here. Let me show you. I've got like a bag with a whole bunch of stuff in it. Check it out. There's just a bunch of stuff like t-shirts and hats and pens and all kinds of things in there. And then now I'm getting... Uh, now, now we're going to give a tutorial. Yeah. Also, the tutorial. The walkthrough. So, see how the wing popped up now? Yeah. It activates at 75 miles an hour, pops okay. up, and then it deploys back down at 50 miles an hour. Oh, okay. Yeah. So right now it's popped up? <clears throat> yep. Okay. And then it'll deploy back down. So how low? How low? Are you trying to tell me you've been doing something else now? Cool. I guess, no, it's down no, right it's now. No, it's down right yeah. now, yeah. And it'll down. pop up actually. So yeah, it comes up from yep. this, yeah. Yep. Yeah, once you're, yep. once you're driving once you and you hit 70, 75. 75, okay. Yep. So that's like an indicator to the cops that you're working. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's that's <laughs> the only way they can tell. I would, I would imagine most of the not, cops don't know that much stuff about It's that. not really 75, it's when you're doing 55. <laughs> don't, you know, because, you know, the cops watch these videos. No, they don't. <laughs> they have no clue. Yeah, awesome. They just get mad that you have it and they don't. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so there we go. So, yeah, that works out. Yeah. Um, interior lights. So you just push this. If that's lit up, that. Um, I forgot. I just did what you've been doing. You just push it and it. Push oh, okay. it to lock it in and push it to unlock. It. Okay, cool. This is really cool. You guys want to stand on this side or that side? Um. What side do you guys usually do? I would. I, I do that side by the mirror. So then we can get the uh, the mirror in the background. Are you coming in here? You gotta no. come in. No, 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 no. Oh, just me. Be in the picture. No, go ahead, do your picture thing. I'm in it, recording. Ready? Three, two, one. You hear that gargle? That gargle sounds good. I did that first time. You guys woke up when I started and you were in there, huh? Oh, so you have to hold it down to take it off. Yeah. Okay, so now ESC is off. Okay. All right, now, left foot, brake all the way to the floor. Okay. Do it with your left oh, foot. This left. Switch. Yep. Okay, there we go. All right, all so as hard as you can. Okay. Okay, now, gas to the floor. Okay, and then it goes? Yep. When you see... Alright, so there she sits under my carport because of course I live in the country. <laughs> so, that's how I do things. I mean, that doesn't mean because you live in the country you don't have a garage, but I don't have a garage. I got a carport. So, Sasha Gray is out. That Michelle Pfeiffer, she's in. Yeah, that's what I'm calling. That's what I'm calling this uh, Audi TT RS. Michelle Pfeiffer. That white gold. <laughs> if you don't know what that is, you're gonna have to look it up. Okay, so she's there, and I'm actually going on the road. Yeah, I have to uh, go out to SEMA. That's where I'm headed off to now. So, not gonna be here for uh, a week. Lola's gonna be getting to drive the Audi TT. I've done a little bit of driving with it, but Lola's getting to drive that. I'm driving this. There you go, Toyota 4 right now. So I'm gonna drive that to Tampa. I'm gonna meet up with my friend Walter and uh, we're gonna get on a plane and head out to Vegas. So I will do more videos on this when I get back. And of course, while I'm out at SEMA, I'm gonna do lots of videos for you guys, which will show up on my regular channel, Hank Strange. 
and the new auto channel which is called Stranger Palooza. So that's like a separate channel I'm making because you know YouTube has gone real super draconian. So I figured I might as well just separate my uh, auto stuff that I'm going to do. And I'm planning on ramping up the auto stuff. So it's all on Stranger Palooza. If you're not subscribed to Stranger Palooza, get subscribed. Get on there so you can get all my views and my take on cars. All right, I'm out. See you guys later.